Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Well, everybody, I know we ended in a kind of sort of cliffhanger last time, but we are going to here to welcome you back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All. We have just a little bit of the invest- well, not a little bit, we've got like about half the investigation left. So okay. I, we can do it in this video, I'm sure. It's so, a lot shorter than I thought it'd be. Yeah, it's- Well, well let's meet Akron. Also, part of it is we are not having to examine everything. True. Like we did the first time, so yep. Let's go back to Akron's room, everyone. Oh! Not at all what I was expecting. Yep, December 29th, Lodging Hall, first, third floor, Akro's room. You have a weird obsession with birds, sir. You must be Phoenix Wright. Y yes Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Deanwing. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Mr. Acro. Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly perform on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform in is my wheelchair. Well, must have gotten an injury then. Somehow, yeah. What happened? Oh, we're buried in the circus. Akro, why did you join the circus? No, I didn't want to look at my evidence. When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. No. Oh. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all without me. Me? Mm. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Hmm, I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina's so cute! She truly is a princess. Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? No, it's not a good thing. Um... Hmm, do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? Or maybe he's just being realistic, I don't know. <laughs> it's not always a good idea to be a little princess. It's true. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves of my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. Why is he on the third floor? Swap with Mo. Yeah, Actually, swap with Mo. Mo might end up crashing through the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe don't do that. But live on like I don't know. Why don't ben they can a... live on the third floor. <laughs> yeah. Why do they not have an elevator too? This doesn't seem like it was well thought out. <laughs> no. That's awful. The accident happened during an acrobatic section, right? Um... Well, I guess not. Oh! A psych lock. A psych lock. It doesn't seem like Akro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. I wonder if it's because of the lion. What's on your mind, Mr. <laughs> right? <laughs> well... Exactly when were you injured? It's almost been six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago? What in the world went on at the circus then? Because that's what the note was saying, yeah. like, you remember six months ago. Maybe someone, like, pushed him off. I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all just a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it when I saw what I saw. Mm. What you saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. What did you see, Acro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see. The scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? 
He was flying straight up into the air. Yeah, you can't get out of bed, so that makes he? sense. He? Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying? I'm absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. Nick? Well, we gotta figure out how to break a psych lock again. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Acro, check it out! I'm an attorney! What do you think of this? I'm sorry, but in my present physical condition, I don't really know much about what goes on outside of this room. Oh, we're sorry. Don't worry about it. No need to apologize. Well, I, mean, is, I hate to say that it's a fake, but like, if he actually can move. Oh, interesting. <laughs> were there any marks at all? I'm not talking about like, marks of footprints, I'm talking about marks around the snow. Because if he was in a wheelchair, maybe it's like, Oh look, there's no marks in the snow! There were, the only marks in the snow were the footprints and then the place where the box was. Hmm. I don't know. He's ripped, all things considered. Yeah. Also, I mentioned in the first Let's Play where I'm like, Penny Nichols is like the only normal person. He's a close second, though. He's pretty normal, yeah. Acro, please take a look at this photo for us. No problem. Ah, uh, this is how it ended for him. Such a shame. He seems awfully calm, but his eyes have a look of sorrow and profound pain. If my legs weren't like this, I would have been able to prevent this from happening. It's an absolute certainty. Acro. I wonder what his obsession with birds is about. Lately, I've been confined to this room, so I don't have a clue what's going on with the circus. That was Maya, not the circus. <laughs> yeah, he's, he appears to have uh, two pet birds. You want to know about Max? Well, his colleagues in the circus all seem to hate him. What about you, Acro? I've got my issues with him as well. But he just also happens to have a diamond shining in his soul. A diamond shining in his soul? I guess you could say it is his pride as a performer. We didn't have that pride in ourselves before Max arrived. Honestly, I think he brought something wonderful to this circus when he came. Acro? This guy is really different from the other members of yeah. the circus. Yeah, he's very nice, which is making me a bit suspicious. But I'm apparently just... <laughs> You're also suspicious of Regina as well. Oh, yeah. He doesn't like her, so... Mm -hmm. I was hoping you could shed some light on Ben. Well, he'll always be here. And as long as he's here, he really can only continue to be a ventriloquist. Whether that's a good thing for him or not... I'm afraid I can't really say. Okay. Francis. Mr. Wright, I just realized who you remind me of. You're just like this prosecutor. <laughs> what?! <laughs> you and the prosecutor have the same glint in your eyes. You're joking, right?! You think I'm like that whip-carrying demon?! Whoa, no need to get so hostile about it. You two may view things from very different perspectives, for now. But you both see the world through the same color-tinted glasses. Maybe. I know because when I look at people, their eyes are the only things I can believe in. Very true. Hmm. Nick and Von Karma, huh? <laughs> Very interesting. Regina. She's cool, isn't she? And can you believe such a cute girl is an animal tamer? Ugh. Seems animals are not the only thing she tames. Huh? Max, the Ringmaster, Ben, she's got them all under her thumb. What do you mean by that? Hmm, maybe I went a bit overboard. Wrapped around her little finger. It's just Regina's innocence. She was incredibly sheltered as a child. I'd say it seems that way. That's why she could be so cruel. What? Regina's just like the animal she claims to tame. She's innocent, thus she can be cruel. I wonder what happened between Acro and Regina. Yo, Ringmaster bro. <laughs> Ringmaster bro. The Ringmaster. He was even more than a father to me. When he took me in, the circus was in bad shape. It was obvious that he had no real way of supporting us. Who does he mean by us? Is that why you started with acrobatics? Back then, I was only nine years old. I begged the Ringmaster to let me try, and he finally gave in. Having a kid in the circus was probably the last fiend in the world that he wanted. 
I just wanted to be helpful so I could help the remaster. That's such a nice story. Yo, Mo. <laughs> the remaster really believed in Mo, 100%. What will happen to the circus now that the remaster's gone? The beginning of the Lawrence Curls era, I suppose. I wonder if it's really alright to let Mo run the show. Mr. Wright, you don't know much about Mo, I suspect. You can see right through me. Aw, Nick, you can't let him get to you like that. You're such an attorney. <laughs> Akro is 26. Injured. I can't believe what happened to the remaster. Such a wonderful man. What a pity. I have no clue what to do with my life now. I'm sorry. The circus meant everything to me. But don't worry about me. There are still things that I have left to do in this world. Yeah, like join the Olympics. <laughs> you might be a little old, but you seem ripped enough. Show them the monkey, yeah. <laughs> Money is a great friend to me. That pile of treasure over there is his collection, huh? It is indeed. Money will bring back anything with him. Aww, that's so cute! Yeah, I'm not great with the ladies, but I seem to be pretty popular with the animals. <laughs> Which is interesting, because Regina's an animal tamer. Hmm, what's this? That's what we want to know. It was posted in the cafeteria the morning before the murder. In the... cafeteria? W what happened? He suddenly looks incredibly serious. If it's got something to do with her, then you should go straight to the source. Her? Regina, ask her about it. We want to, but we haven't found her! <laughs> do, do we say different stuff if Akra's in here? Ew, it's a huge pile of trash! One man's trash is another monkey's treasure. I guess you're right. Look, they're all shiny things. He's even got a motorcycle exhaust. What do they call this thing? Oh, a tuba, right? Of course it's a tuba, silly. You didn't know that? Hey, it's a picture of Regina. Well, she is a shining beauty. No objections here. <laughs> Basketball hoop. Hey, the net's ripped. Oh wait, we've already seen this Money before. Money must be prone to breaking things. He's hardcore. Um... The net looks fine to me. You really think that he plays basketball? I think so. Monkeys live above the rim, you know? You're joking, right? You think the monkey has got proverbial game? Of course! That monkey doesn't fake the funk on a nasty dunk. Well, a prehensile tail might be an unfair advantage. Yeah, we've seen that before, but it won't let me scoop it. I guess Acro doesn't say stuff when we... Let's, well, see, let's see if Regina finally is in the big Please top. tell me you're... Finally, where have you been? December 29th, very big circus, big top. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah! Nick! Wonderful, today's special must be filet -O phoenix <laughs> A m mistake Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? Interesting. It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite the man. He was. I love my dad so much. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem at all that broken about up about her father. No, she's not. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad and he told me that. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A s star? That means that my dad is looking at, down on me from the sky. That's kind of like Lion King stuff It is right little there. Lion King stuff. <laughs> That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. <laughs> Wait, Leon was the lion that died. What if he just showed her the Lion King? Like, he's like, here, watch this! She's like, oh, oh. okay! <laughs> when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. 
But I bet there's you, there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? <laughs> do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course! You really think so? Yeah, you will. I think. I've got a feeling that everyone's doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's alright with Regina. Just to go back and clear something up, why'd you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's me. He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you? It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. What are spangles? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney! Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my dress back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Gladly, but of course, I'll get it for you. <laughs> um, all of these are fine. Leave it all to us! There's no way I could turn down that request. Yay! You're really gonna do it! Da, 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 da. I like how she hops up and down. Ah, uh, it's Acro. Is he in the room today? Yes, he is. We just came back from meeting with him. I hope his legs get better soon. Acro's so incredible, especially on the trapeze. The trapeze is that enormous swing hanging from the top of the tent, right? Yep, that's it. I really want to see him up there again. Acro the acrobat. That's strange. Acro doesn't seem to have very many nice things to say about Regina. But Regina seems to like Acro just fine. It's probably something she did unintentionally. Hey, can you tell us about this thing? Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. R really Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It, it was in your pocket? This piece of paper was in your pocket? I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Acro his breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I'd go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. Th that's when you realize this piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. And then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it up on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did! I stuck it up there! How'd you know? Hmm, so it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this? Note updated in the court record. Show her the pepper. <laughs> That's pepper, isn't it? From the cafeteria. Huh? It's from the cafeteria? It's not? I remember seeing it there. Hmm, so this was the cafeteria's pepper. You know, I'm not a big fan of pepper. He just loves to cause nothing but trouble, that cute little monkey. But don't you think using a tiger to scare him is a bit much? Huh? Why is that? Don't you really have to say that? It's dangerous to use a tiger for that kind of thing. It's not dangerous at all. Regent's just a little kitten. I've seen plenty of kittens, and that's no kitten. <laughs> Meow. Hey, Mo. Oh. December 29th. Why is it every time Washington we Paul go in, it seems more, more, more messy? It's not. It's, it's just not, your imagination. It just seems like it. Hmm, Mo's not here. What's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick! You're scaring me! Nick! It's money! That monkey's got his hands on something again. That's it! That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Alright, time to take on this monkey, attorney style! Give it back, monkey brain! Stay! Ooh, 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 scratch, scratch. I want to try the third one. <laughs> we'll try them all. Give it back, monkey brain! That means a lot to Regina! A real man wouldn't take a little girl- ah! Yikes! Ah! Stay! Money! Stay! Hey! It's working! 
Um, it sounded like he was confused at the end of that. Ooh. Stay. Ah! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> that one's the best. I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick, what's that? I swiped it while money was distracted. Really? You're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it, let me see it! Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean? I really want to try on Regina's costume! Maybe then they'll take you in at the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. <laughs> hmm. What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well, guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. Maybe it's from a long time ago. Perhaps. I mean, she's been in the circus her whole time. A shiny spangled vest. It's not Maya's size at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maya and Regina seem similar-ish sized. Yeah. I bet it's from, like, the past. We got it back! Here you go, Regina! Yay! Thank you! You really got it back for me! Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. Blush, it's nothing. <laughs> no wonder guys melt to mush in front of this girl. Hey, Regina! That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the lion she told us about. Oh, the one that someone killed. Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right. My dad killed him. Why?! Well, Leon did something really bad during practice, probably killing someone's legs. During practice? Leon was sitting down, and then he opened his mouth. You know, Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when he did that, I would put his head into my- I would put my <laughs> head into his mouth? <laughs> what?! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, you put your head in a lion's mouth?! I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways, what was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon bit someone during that practice. R Regina, everything was all right though, right? No, it wasn't all right. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon? Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. Leon's been added to the court record. Roar. No! <laughs> oh yeah, cafeteria. December 29th, Big Top Cafeteria. Something smells fantastic! So we know it can't be Mo! Wait, I know what it is! It's burgers! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the Bistro du Cirque, a.k.a. the cafeteria! Mmm, it smells so good in here. Those burgers look great. She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best! Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce. They are absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger. One bite will send you into hamburger heaven! Wait, are we gonna get poisons? <laughs> I bet! I can tell by the smell! I See, I told you he was getting burgers for us! I didn't know! He <laughs> yeah. just was like, I'm gonna go get burgers! I'm like, oh, well maybe he's having one. Whoa, burgers. I'm getting hungry too! Those burgers must have some kind of special power! <laughs> I just hope we don't get, like, food poisoning all of a sudden and be like, Bleh! Yuck, yuck, yuck! Now that the ringmaster's gone, what are you going to do? That's all I've thought about the past two days! Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but when the murder happened, he was livid. Acro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been thinking of trying on the Ringmaster's shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? 
He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Mo. All that's left is to see if everyone would get over the tragedy. You know. The tragedy? You know? What is he talking about? Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Don't worry about it! It's nothing! Nothing at all! Great, they're covering up some sort of big murder from the past. He must mean the tragic death of the Ringmaster, right? Yes, yes! That's it! You're right, girly! Dane, Dane, Dane! Correct Amundo! Doesn't he mean Dean? Mo, I mean no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? Yeah? No! Not at all! What makes you think that? Just the way you said if everyone would get over it seemed a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Eek, 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 eek. Mo, I'm right, aren't I? Of course he is a psycho. Oh, just two. Hmm, so now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break! Us old men have accidents! I wear big pants for a reason! <laughs> six months ago, eh? Alright. Oh, we have everything? Cool. Well, he has two Cyclops. Pew, 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 pew. Get over it. Oh, also, I don't think I've mentioned this before. The number of Cyclox doesn't necessarily determine how hard they are to unlock, but rather how badly they want to keep the secret from you. Mm, okay. So there, there might be times where it's like they have one Cyclox, but it can be hard to break. Okay. Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at this circus? Okay, okay, there's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat instead! Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Ah. <laughs> Actually, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident. This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would it? Oh, the cause of the accident. Oh, the lion. <laughs> Money was the one, right? <laughs> what about this? Looks tasty. <laughs> what? Well, what? You know the burgers. Oh. Looks like I shot a blank down on that attempt. <laughs> I was like, don't eat the monkey! What do you say? Another burger sound alright to you? Mo, you said something about an accident. I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a performance, right? A performance? I thought it was during a practice! What? <laughs> Hold up, I thought it was during practice! I think it was a practice performance. Oh, kind of like a dress rehearsal type of deal. Yeah. I was like, okay, if there's people in the audience and, like, someone's head got bit off, that would be a little disturbing. That would be a lot disturbing. I told them so many times. You shouldn't be doing dangerous performances like that. Putting their heads inside of Leon's mouth was a part of an act. But Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He could never say no to her. <sighs> Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo. Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this, too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Mo, is this the person you promised you wouldn't say anything to? Uh, the monkey. <laughs> no! <laughs> promised gumshoe! Uh... <laughs> It was probably... The, the person you promised you wouldn't say anything? Yeah. I don't know. I have it down to, like, three. Who are you thinking? Max, Ringmaster, or Acro. Okay. Is it one of those three? It is. Okay. Um, probably the Ringmaster, because the Ringmaster's like, shoot, if you put this <laughs> out here, like, I'm never gonna forgive you for this. <laughs> yeah! What's the matter? There's a lot of spice on this Cajun burger! <laughs> um, what about the person who you promised to keep silent? You don't get it yet, do you? What can I say? I have a strong sense of duty. Just because I'm funny and talkative doesn't mean that I go around blabbing everything. I can't tell you who I promised. A promise is a promise, you know? <laughs> he has to be a dude, so... Yeah. Max? It's actually Acro. Acro, okay. 
It must have been Acro, right? <laughs> How? How'd you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the Remaster. No! No way! I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. Well, Acro's gonna get mad. <laughs> as mad as he can get. <laughs> It's just like you said, you know, the accident. Did someone die? No, but it probably would have been better if he had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Ben? Coma? All he does now is lay in his bed at the hospital. Oh. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Oh. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. But brother? They were an acrobat team of brothers, Acro and Bat. Oh my gosh. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible team, cut down at the same time. Um, who's Acro's younger brother? Sean Dinaline, but everyone always called him Bat. He fell in love with Regina, trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon! Why'd he do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. I'll never forget that oh, moment. Oh, he looks like a dude from Fire Emblem. <laughs> Who, who's the, um, you know how there's the two Cavaliers? For, uh, Kent like, and Sane? Kent and Sane. Which one looks like him? Sane more so Sane than more Kent. Sane more so than Kent. Yeah, it looks like that. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was... smiling. He... you mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. Some sick grin. No way! That's impossible! A smirking lion? A flying murderer? Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all these incredible events? Nick, can lions smile? Um... Yes. He nev we never told the police about that incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the remaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys are so serious! What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you! But all this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger! Here, you two have some pepper! Shake a shake a shake a! <laughs> there he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, chew! Ah, chew! Nice! What a wonderful sneeze! Huh? You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana? That's basic clownmanship! Girlie, I know you gotta understand that! Nick! I think we'd make a good clown- I think I'd make a good clown! Other than Regina, I've never heard a cuter sneeze! <laughs> does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does! Bat would always tease her with pepper! Bat? From my point of view, those two always looked so perfect together. Aww. They looked perfect together, huh? So that must mean Max... Max wasn't there for that, so he must not have come to the circus until after that happened. Perhaps not. Well, if they're missing a person, then probably. Like, they were like, we need a new person. What do you think about this person? Sorry. Sorry? I've already given my heart to another man. So I'm not interested in enrolling in your dating service. Huh? I just wanted to know if you knew this person. Well, that was a little mean, Regina. <laughs> Ben's like, why are we out here? <laughs> In the cold, they're waiting for Regina to walk out. And she's never going to do it. <laughs> ah, Mr. Wright. Back again, I see. Well, he did say, I'll be back. Wait, or was that someone else? <laughs> <laughs> we're back because Akra's hiding why his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. 
It would seem that he knows what that we know. Well, well. Seems you've got things you want to talk about, so fire away. <laughs> we had to wait for the birds to fly away. The birds were like, ah, sidewalks! About the wheelchair. I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? Yes. Unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real case, cause, he'd have no reason to keep it secret. Acro, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Lying. That would be fun. <laughs> we could. <laughs> I mean, it's either that or it's his brother. Alright, Acro. Just tell me the truth. Do you mind if I ask you a question first? What do you want to know? Do you really think I could get an injury like this from something like that? Yeah! Yikes! Seems like I'm off track with this one. If that's how you handle yourself, I suggest a net if you ever try this tightrope. He's right. I slipped up just now. I've got to rethink things. An accident during practice? Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> wrong Cyclox. <laughs> it is the lion. Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. I know I'm on the right track. I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked? By a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If the lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. I'm not sure if attack is the best word to be using. You must have battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. Well, this is obvious. <laughs> you wanted to save Mom, didn't you? <laughs> so how about it, Acro? You mind if I ask one question first? Go ahead. What do you want to know? Why would I possibly battle the king of the jungle for something like that? Most is huh? like... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, I assure you that it would take more than that to get me to go after a lion. I guess he doesn't care about <laughs> balls. <laughs> the hat. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about that from Mo. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the ton on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the ton? Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down at the same time. Cut down at the same time. That's what we're, where he slipped. And that's how I figured it out. You two ended up wrapped up in the same accident together, like always. I see. But an accident is just an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Acro's psych lock. He must have an incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Acro, I know you're still hiding something from me. Maybe something you don't seem to like much is the reason that you're being evasive. Regina. <laughs> Regina. <laughs> you don't really seem to like Pepper that much, do you? <laughs> what about this, Acro? Are you aware how strange you seem sometimes? Why would I be afraid of Pepper? You seem to think you know what will happen before you do, but you're wrong. What? It's clear you haven't come to grips with what's going on. Ah, there's no way I can backpedal away from this! <laughs> Regina. You always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Saying things like she's cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you? Twice. <laughs> he wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack Bat, do you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Uh huh. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. What if she... Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. 
What? What are you talking about? No! Oh, maybe I overdid it again. But if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. The note? <laughs> right. Oh, right. it is! Yeah, it is. Woo! <laughs> you hate how you put money in your area. <laughs> Acro? You know, I think I hate you more than I ever hated her. Wow! Whoa, Acro! <laughs> huh? How could what you just showed me possibly prove that I hate Regina? Uh, it looks like I picked the wrong piece of evidence. <laughs> Th this Where'd you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. I always take Acro his breakfast in the morning. You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. Maybe he did something. Birds. My legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago. My younger brother, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go out to the movies with me on a date. Wow! That's insane! Didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid, too. But that lion was very old to begin with. And age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened. He just wanted to take her out to the movies. Poor Bat. When Leon chopped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up. What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason I keep going. That makes sense. Bat and Regina. They were such a great friends. Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross! It's covered in blood! This scarf was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. What? When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know! Mo said the same thing! What do you think it all means? This is you. I don't know who that <laughs> it's is. It's Francesca. Oh, I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. I was like, who is this? Von <laughs> Karma? I've already heard everything. So hand over the scarf. But the scarf is evidence in the trial! That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I've served a summon. I've served a summons on Acro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro, we'll talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? Come, Acro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Well, at least she didn't whip anyone. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Okay, whipping a guy in a wheelchair—that's like a no, huge I thought, low. No, I thought she was gonna whip one of us. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. To be Oh, continued. that's the end? Yep. I thought we were going to talk to Regina and be like, Hey, yo, look at this scarf. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Do you want to save the game? So that's it for like this episode. Explain. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, tune in next time. We're going to court again. So, do you kind of feel like you know who did it now? No. Oh, really? I have a... Two guesses. Who? Either Mr. Acro, wheelchair guy, or <laughs> Regina. Interesting. The problem is neither of them have a motive to kill the ringmaster. Actually, nobody here has a motive to kill the ringmaster. Regina does. 
No, she doesn't. She he killed my lion. She doesn't seem upset about it, though. Well, she's just weird. <laughs> Some people weren't upset at all that they were in court. And then as soon as we broke them down, they were like... <laughs> you just described basically the entire series. Yeah. <laughs> so, they yeah. don't care if they're in court. Tune in next time. We're going to have Acro as a witness in court. So, look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.